y'all. I think they about to start doing a march or something. They're definitely starting to rally, so please retweet and repost the link. Um, I'm not going to go down for at least an hour or two, so here you go. No, it's not. Don't nobody want to see pregnant booty. I got the I got the political crowd here. I'm, just, I'm not about to go down. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna go down. Okay. Oh. 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 No, don't stop. <laughs> the best part.
of the continent of Africa. Battery for the mega-
you for tweeting the quote. I mean, quote. We got tweeting the shame. We got to fight. White people stole black people from their country and the country from the people. So I don't sit over here and say that the land was never taken. Like that's some complete ass bullshit. And I ain't fucked up yet. I ain't got the chance to just get nice on you. I don't like losing mine early. What? My voice. Uh, I like to save that motherfucker for me. Yeah, I got, I'm holding on to what I got left. See, this is my way. Everybody say hi, HJ. What's up, man? Hello. Bro, I'm already here. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Everybody say hi. Haters been on the radio all day. Mark Ridden, racist, bigot, piece of shit. So what it looks like to me is like community and music and families and positivity. What it doesn't look like to me is a bunch of violent thug protesters destroying the city. So the next time, you know, I mean, I just feel like when the news comes on, we should be able to like respond <laughs> and be like, I call bullshit. Like we're bad people and stuff like that. Um, Cause they're the ones that messed up. They've been trying to cover this shit up since the start. And then they got blaming on somebody else. They're blaming on everybody out here doing something. Right. That's why I keep saying well, they're gonna do something because you keep making them be quiet. Eventually they're gonna be heard regardless. Yeah, that's why people don't lose. stuff like that. Cause I mean it might not be right, but it got people's attention, didn't it? Got right. everybody's attention. You got the whole world. Yeah, but you know what? It's a shame because we live in a world where we care shame. more about broken windows than exactly. we do the life of a young black man. Exactly. You know what I mean? And the saddest part about that is that that's always been the reality. We just waking up again to it. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's unfortunate, see, but it's time. it's time. Exactly. I'm I grew up. I've gone up in Jennings my whole life. You know what I'm saying? 95% of my friends are black. I grew up seeing this stuff my whole life. And right. Well, thank you for being out here. We need everybody that's gone that do support to come out and support. And if you can't, then retweet the links and post them everywhere so people can see the truth. The thing is, is that we don't have the uh, distribution rights that mainstream media got. So that's the only really platform that we have because it's free. You know what I mean? And it's allowing us to be able to say shit and you can check and balance with me. You don't have to ask CNN. You know what I mean? So it's like a lot of people need to try to get on the social networking so that we can start to link up with each other so they can't do it in Oakland and then Ferguson. Right, right. Like we already was talking about this. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, I understand, like, but people don't gotta be on there to make a friend. You can be on there to organize right. with people who are like minded. You know what I mean? I'm working with this. So I can't get on the so you know what I'm saying? You can tweet by text. <laughs> it's your baby. They want to be all these big gang stoppers and stop gangs. And that's all they are is a gang. I'm not. Yeah, the, you, you're right. The pigs are out of control, and they will kill anyone regardless of color. But what I'm gonna tell you is that black people get the butt, the worst part. Oh no, 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 not you. I'm, I'm uh. Oh, okay. I'm talking okay. to people. I'm talking. So I'm not negating that the police are completely out of fucking control and need to be stopped. Right. Not saying that. We saw last night white and blacks got arrested. It was majority white women. What we saying is 
we need to be if we not never gonna allow people to talk about the injustices that they are being subjected to if we don't allow black people their voice when we talk about this shit then we not never gonna be able to come together and get the numbers we need to affect change like yes there's a class issue but there's a race issue too let us deal with the race issue let us please and you know it's crazy the police like i you know i stay in jenny like i said like i step out on the border of the north side in jenny right here the police they profile me because i hang out all my friends are black and right. i hang out with all the black people and when they see me they're like why ain't you like me you know what i mean that's most of the people us why, right why are you like this why are you right like, why are you like them that's how they look at it i'm like what do you mean like them i'm the type of person i don't see white black mexican nothing like that i see people as people in mean, general and all this race stuff could be so squashed if people would just, you know what I'm saying, look past that, like black and white and Mexican and stuff like that. Like, it could just all be, it, it, it could so easily be squashed. And if we stop looking at each other like that, like, yeah, that's who you are, but you are human. Exactly. You need water just Probably like me. You need to look at people like, oh, that's a black man. Let me stop him and see what he's doing. Well, you know, that's legal. Regardless. That is legal. There's legislation for that, and it's called stop and frisk. Stupid, though. Period. They, they should profile somebody by the color of their skin. They should be like, that's a man. If he a does human. Wrong, right, right. A human. A you human. Know, you know yeah. I mean, Fuck it. You don't look at a. Well, I guess you do do it with dogs, too. That's a pit bull, I guess. They look at us. General, like the cop, look, they think they're up here. When people, this is people, right? This is people. This is where all of us are at. But they think they're up here because they got a bad. All that, all that, I got is a gang that can get away. Yeah. From in California, the police officer have a bill of rights that's more powerful than the citizens. Yeah. It's, that's fucking awesome, right? <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, you dropped your fourth. You got time six. Okay. <laughs> I can do a chopstick. All right, cool. Yeah, <laughs> so, hey, let's move away a little bit so we can make sure we hear this. I'm about to go get an update about the arrest. There were more than we thought. There were more than we thought. I'm about to get an update on that from last night. On what? Okay, wait a second. Oh, okay. Sorry, he did say after he ate, but... I did. <laughs> I saw him jump the gun. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't think we have time to eat. Anyway, so um, eat and talk. That's a little bright. Oh yeah, good. Solidarity with Hong Kong, y'all. Got the <laughs> solidarity with Hong Kong. He said he got some Chinese food. Bought it from. He's from Shanghai. So okay. I don't know what side he's on, but, <laughs> but yeah. That's right. Hashtag HK student strike. Everyone get it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So how you doing? We got the live streamers up in here. Are you? Are you streaming? No, not right now. Good. Okay. So, um, let me think. Okay. Last night there was a lot of confusion um, because police were involved and they were trying to talk to people who they think are leaders and there are no leaders out here. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's not a very organized thing. Right. Which is the, you know, essence of a grassroots movement. It's also the strength of the grassroots movement. Right, right, right. So, they told us at different points that they had arrested different numbers of people. At one point they said, 12, at one point they said 10, at another point they said 8, and they also said 7, um, and everything, basically we got stuck on 7. Seven. So when we went to get people out, they gave us 8, uh. and we were very confused. They also released somebody in addition to that, someone who was really, who was arrested earlier in the day. Uh -huh. So 9 people were released, but they told us 7 people were arrested, and it was kind of confusing. Um, we got an a phone call to our jail support number today from um, two people who had been arrested who the police had not informed us were out and when they did their little prisoner swap with us they did not release these people they were charged with loitering and so jail support um, including myself went down to try to bond them out they told us the amount of the bond um, which was $320 each we gave them the cash uh, right there um, I think everyone out there who has supported us with that cash it is more than more uh, i can't even say this is here i cannot express actually how how happy we are to have the influx of money that we've gotten um it's it's so helpful so we give them the cash and then the officer comes back and says actually 
um i can't release them because they have warrants in other places uh in this area which is extremely common in st louis county uh. we have so many municipalities and every single one of the places could have a warrant or two or five against you for minor things like traffic stops and then they the summons get lost in the mail or you never get one and then you get warrant, a warrant. Mm -hmm. yeah let's, let's walk and talk How's okay that sure so oh they're marching so we're walking yeah. and you get an update you guys yeah that's why we're walking i want you to miss this so Luckily, we were able to convince this officer to give us the money back because they were not going to release the people. Uh -huh. So we would just have that money lost. Right. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Alright. So, so, they gave us the cash back. We were very excited about that. I mean, we, it was what they should have done. Right. But we were surprised they actually did it. Right, right, right. Um, then, uh, we decided that we are probably going to contact, um, well, we're going to have attorneys working on them. So we're not going to leave them in there. Okay. Attorneys working on them. But okay. The moral of the story is that the police told us that they were going to release everyone, and then they did not. Right. And this is the, I think, the, definitely the second, might be the third time that people have tried to negotiate with them, and then we've gotten less than we bargained for. So, but they shouldn't be negotiating anyway. That's why we should not be negotiating for sure. Because even when we do, which it sounds very unethical to negotiate someone else's uh, someone else's freedom based on what's going on on the ground. In our justice system, it should be unbiased and it should not be in, impacted by the actions of a crowd of people outside. Uh, I definitely feel that way. So, so if we were going to negotiate that's an argument to be had, but when we do negotiate, every single time we've gotten screwed over. So if anyone tries to do it again, it'll be shut down immediately. Uh, because finally, even the densest people out here are realizing that it does not work to work with the police. Right. The police are not your friends. It's right. not gonna so maybe we'll figure that out. Right now we're going on a march. There's a bunch of clergy members have joined us tonight. Yeah, um, I've noticed. Uh, it was really great of them to come out here, especially um, the white ones. Uh, and we're going to see what happens with these new visitors. All right. Well, thank you very much for that update, Keith. Yes. I'm going to let you enjoy your food. Okay. And you all can follow me on Twitter. I'm uh, at K-W-R-O-S-E. K-W-Rose. Yep. K-W-Rose, everybody. Um, I'm going to go up, try to get to the front of the march. We 
drummer is Kidman. Oh, there's local uh, media, mainstream media here. Hey, y'all should get on Tef Post stream or Twitter and tell them to come say hi to me. Mike Brown means we got to fight back. Mike Brown means we got to fight back. Mike Brown means we got to fight back. 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 around my neck with the pink uh, things on the side and a page Hello Kitty backpack if you can't find me.
So media's never gotten out that car, so I don't know how they're adequately covering anything to tell the truth. Y'all motherfuckers want to get in when I car? Get out the car. I'm just saying, like, how does media adequately cover what's happening if they won't even get out? Like, get out your car. Talk to me. How can you claim to be representing the people you ain't even there are kids in the crowd, y'all. Everybody should uh, tweet the fact that there are children in the crowd. So if the police do decide that they want to do something about, you know, all this celebratory music and protest, um, know that there are also children here. But you know, they little black babies, so you know, they might not give no fuck. <laughs> This is for Mike Brown. We turned up, don't turn down. This is for Mike Brown. We turned up, don't turn down. Hey. I'm sorry, what what do you think he did to be a fucking whatever? I'm gonna ignore you because you're obviously a child. Cause I'm streaming live right now. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? I don't know Twitter. Yet. Okay, okay. I just learned how to use. Okay, I'm I'm buzzing around. You'll see me though. So you'll see that there are a bunch of clergy members and different people on the outskirts having conversation, which is definitely something that needs to happen to increase in, uh, community and awareness. And then you'll see a very celebratory um, gathering. You know what I mean? And it is out of respect for Mike Brown, but it is also still demanding justice. They're saying no justice, no sleep. But even with that chant, I want you guys to realize like where we're at, we're in the middle of a um, a plaza. Like there is no residential anything right here to wake anybody up. So if the police sit over here and try to say that they are being destructive and tearing up the city and waking up the residents, it's a complete lie. They've actually picked very um, industrialized areas to continue to have these protests in. So there's no reason for the police to descend on them with excessive force at all. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just, what am I giving you? you mean, I mean, Facebook. Okay. okay, that's on Facebook. Bella Media. Okay. I downloaded every all the ad blockers, y'all. Black power. Black power. Oh, sorry, y'all. Thank you for telling me. How's the audio and video now? We got to fight back. 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 We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down.
We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. We gon' shut that shit down. I don't know. I don't even know where it's at. I'm trying to hold my LED light up too, so that might be what's happening. TYZ, could you stop trying to make this intersectional? Let them have their argument. Like, let them have that. A1 from day one. A1 from day one. A1 from day one. A1 from day one. I'm live, my descent. We strong. I'm about to go stand right next to her and look at her press badge though, so how about that? No, it's not RT, it's CBS.
up in the face. be like snipers on the roof and police in the corners and all other kind of shit. You see that the crowd in the middle. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you see the crowd is in the middle um, and it's a very positive and celebratory gathering and then you'll see that there are people with signs still standing outside. I mean on the outskirts and um, you know with the signs so that the, the people who are passing by are able to see that um, this is still my ground oriented protest. Yeah. 
can somebody hey is courtney i haven't seen courtney is courtney or cindy on the stream and if not can somebody tweet at them and let them know and can somebody tweet at sasha Payne at sasha Payne and ask her like wtf where are they party chants when we did the fuck the police the revolution has come fuck the pigs kill the pigs so to see them doing it with the music and creating the chants just shows you the versatility the versatility of the movement and how different people express themselves differently you know what i'm saying like to say that they are any less militant minded or to say that they are any less passionate about demanding justice is a mistake just because their form of protest is different. Yeah. 
I just give commentary. I have mods that kick the haters out because I need to not be like. I go in. <laughs> That's not Tough Pal, the one. Hey, you were Tough Pal on Twitter. Me and him? Are you guys Tough Pal on Twitter? He's Tough Pal. That's Tough Pal. Yeah, I'm the ruler. He's one man. Oh, okay, okay, well, he's not in interview mode right now, y'all. <laughs> Bitch ass cock to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. I, I see that phone. It's led by young black men and women. This is fucking amazing to me. They taking the street. Hey, we young, we strong. A-E-3-5-S think it's okay to run people over with a car. Even if they are in the middle of the street, vehicular manslaughter is a crime. Hey, what y'all doing in that motherfucker? Watch out. Man, fuck that. Mike Brown means we, we got, got to fight back. back. What? Mike Brown means we, we got, got to fight back. back. Huh? Mike Brown means we got to fight back. What? Mike Brown means we got to fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Somebody get this John Sean the fuck out my screen. Basically, the crowd just stopped us from as media in the front from getting hit. Turned up, don't turn down. This is for Mike Brown. Turned up, don't turn down. This is for Mike Brown. Turned up, don't turn down. This is for Mike Brown. Turned up, don't turn down. This is for Mike Brown. This is for Mike Brown. Yeah, how could you not love this? This is fucking beautiful. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. That's the young homie right there. I don't care what stream it is, but if something happened to him, y'all look out for him. Thank you. This is what the looks like. Him too. That's the head right there. Shoot back, shoot back, shoot back, shoot back, shoot back, shoot back. All of them. But them the ones that have been exceptionally welcoming to me, talking to me, and helping me. And I really feel like if some of the police tried to arrest me, they would snatch me. All the past, all the streams that I have done are archived on Ustream and they're also uploaded to my YouTube channel. So you can see everything that has been happening live and uncut, uncensored. Just for you. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the Fuck the police. Fuck the 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 Let's get it. Tell them who you are. Let's low key. Let's, let's, let's low. Let's get it. Uh, Y'all know my favorite rapper is low key. <laughs>
motherfucker voice gone like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's all right, a little honey and lemon, you be all right tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, they'll, t they'll shoot you until you dead, so you should use every bit of air in your lungs. I said they'll shoot you till you dead, so you gotta use every bit of air in your lungs while you can. Thank you. Oh, I need two seconds, y'all. I'm not about to take the stream down, but I am about to go stand over here with HJ and drink some water real fast. The humidity out here is unreal. It's hella easy to get dehydrated. Here, people don't get to see me a lot when I stream. Will you hold that? Oh, no, 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 no. Just, what happened? Oh, my God. You all right, you all right. Hi, everybody. I don't know if I'm glistening a little, <laughs> but um, every time like they get start rallying and playing the music and doing these chants, I mean this shit is motivational. It's hard to not want to dance and join them and like to, to stay kind of like objective and, and, and on their perimeter so that I can document. Like y'all know me, I want to be in the middle, in the thick of it, celebrating and dancing and protesting and doing all the things. But, you got a lot of people who are dedicated to putting out lives. So I'm really happy that every single one of y'all are watching because this is just beautiful. Oh, but it also is on the move, so I have to go. Thank you. I thought they was finished, but they not, so I'm back over here, okay? They gonna get them out. Now you have protesters in the yard with the police department. That's true, DJ. The trolls definitely mean that we're doing some work. Don't get arrested tonight, okay? Heal up first. I'm running all night. Heal up first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not twice in a row. Not twice in a row. Lucky last night. For sure. <laughs> Lucky there was all people behind me and I had love for my people. I didn't want to just like really just, just mow them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, fuck it. It's called the sacrificial lamb. I'll be that lamb. That way my son can walk up the street. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, no, no. They can, me, they can blow my motherfucking brains out right in the middle of the street. If my son can walk and be a human being. Yeah, that's crazy that we got to be out here to fight for that, though. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just saying it is what it is. They got the right one. And they got the right one for the job. That's all that matters. Yeah. All of us. All the people out here. You know what? It's one thing to have a different opinion. It's another thing to heckle the people who are out here in the thick of this. Do you understand, like, how difficult it is to be in the middle of these protest scenarios? Do you understand how stressful it is? Like you need, if you have differing opinions, that's fine, but you need to find a way to discuss them civilly and without like promoting or reinforcing the stereotype while you do it on my stream. Cause if you don't, then you're gonna get kicked off and then you can just watch the fucking archive. Okay, that's pretty much it. Like I don't, I don't have room for that shit. If you wanna be a naysayer, you wanna be a fucking asshole, then do that on your own goddamn time. Don't do it on mine. Cause you're not donating to me, you're not paying for my Wi-Fi. Get the fuck off my stream. Yeah, I just enjoy the show and shut the fuck up. Pretty much, there you go. They didn't do nothing but come and do the same rally with the music right here. They stole
Uh, not on this stream, but yeah, heckling is like kill all niggers, white power. Yeah, that's heckling me on my stream and get the fuck off my shit. I know he was arrested, but they let him out. He's free. Um, I still just don't know what he looked like. I downloaded Ad Blocker and Ghostery, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out, or I'm gonna have to pay you stream three ninety nine a month. Oh fuck! I can't get this one. <laughs> Well, then people need to download their own ad blocker then. B. I just like giving out the license plate numbers for motherfuckers that think they want to hit motherfuckers with cars and shit. Like, uh, vehicular manslaughter is not okay. I'm about hot as hell, y'all. Yes, they are that short, the license plates, Brian. Uh, Morgana downloaded it a long time. I did. I don't know if you're asking. Y'all, y'all see Sasha right there? people out here on, give or take probably give is for everybody to stay close um, because you know I guess when shit hits the fan it really hits the fan Day one. 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 Day one.
I know what she does, but I also know that I wanted to come to Ferguson and nobody else offered to drive for 30 hours to bring me out here to pay for a hotel room um, and then to buy my plane ticket home and then to um, actually try and see if she would be able to send me back out here. So I pretty much don't give a fuck what it is that she's forced to do to make a living or if she's become accustomed to that lifestyle at all. Um, because in my book, she's a stand up person. And I don't have any judgments against anybody that works in that field. I saw him, uh, I saw Argus in his van earlier, but uh, I mean the Argus media team in their van earlier, car, but I haven't seen them lately. Oh, the police here, the police here. She was just walking around. They said that uh, somebody is telling me about RT and what they was talking about her and her profession, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. I hope she gets business. She's not here for that. No, she's not here for that. And I was like, and I, she's a stand-up individual, number one. Number two, I'm I'm out of the Occupy movement, so I have no judgments against anybody that works in that industry at all. And third, like I said, she's been paying it forward to me. I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have had a hotel room if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have a plane to get home if it wasn't for her. So I don't give a fuck what she do. We motherfuckers wouldn't have got hella water. We wouldn't have had the upside down flags. We wouldn't have had the little sign making shit. So I, I mean, you know, we wouldn't have sandwiches and stuff. I, I don't care what Sasha do. I don't give a damn. She is the shit in my book. Love you, Bella. I love you too. Nah, she know. She, she know. But, but I'm not going to tell her about that because I'm also trying to teach her how to control the stress level because this is her original insertion into a grass movement, a grassroots organization, um, revolutionary startup movement. So she can't, she don't need to deal with all of that. It's not, it's not important. Are you Yeah. Hi. 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 What's your name? Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you? I'm doing all right. I follow you on Twitter. Okay. You came here. I did. <laughs> this is Sean. Everybody found me from Twitter. Hey. Now he's here. Everybody say hi to Sean. What's your Twitter? Uh, fuck, I don't even remember. <laughs> I gotta look it up. I made it and fucking I usually don't do nothing to my ground accent. Okay, now. okay. Yeah, yeah. Wanna give you gas money for coming all the way out here? Thank you. I mean, it's the least I can do Thank for you, you giving us support. I mean, you came from all the way from Oakland. Thank you. I'm only a couple blocks away. So, <laughs> it's a bike ride for me. I appreciate it's a hell it. of a drive for you. Yeah. And I greatly appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you so much. Greatly. Thank you. Thank you. You can um, tweet me later. Okay. Um, but later, because right now I'll have oh, yeah, everything my feed. Well, I have so much stuff in my thread that you'll get lost in it. Okay. So tweet me later. It'll be like, this is Sean. I came up to you. Okay. So I can connect with you for lunch, okay? I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. You know what? Everybody got to do their part. Yeah. You know what I mean? This we all got to love each other. Man. Yeah. You came from Oakland. Like, I just can't believe you drove throughout the night. I saw you. I actually, you drove, he you drove. You stopped right there and you got off. I saw I was watching you. But like, this girl just drove 30 hours and got pulled over. And she's just down here in the shit. Like, that did happen. <laughs> Like you ain't stopping her. Thank you for following me. I definitely I appreciate, appreciate it. Everything. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye, everybody. Um, I think I might still be in shock, which is why I'm not crying yet. That's all I got to say.
which was awesome. Fuck, I ain't got nothing. nothing. So far, I've only seen one police car pull in, but they're back there on their cell phones or whatever, radios, they're chilling up against one cruiser and uh, one SUV. Oh, okay, wait, oh, with this Harris, this T. Harris, T. Harris just showed up. We know who him is. So they're gonna force people back into the street, probably. Um, you can see that the police have arrived, which, is that Officer Harris? Is that who that was? He came, he showed up and said, get on the sidewalk now. They said that this is not a negotiation. He said, okay, and walked away. Shit might be getting real. Retweet, repost, do whatever you gotta do. Um, but get the word out. Because we need eyes on this. We can't depend on them that been sitting over there comfortably waiting to try to control the narrative. Okay? So please, y'all, um, because it's about to happen. Here it comes, y'all. I don't know, he's putting on his gloves, he went back to his car. I have no idea what's about to happen with that. The fire department seems to be peeking out the door. I keep catching them closing the door. Like they don't want to be seen peeking out. Um, we got mainstream media staying behind the line. So I guess when they get ready to move in on protesters, um, it won't be on media. But I'm like, y'all should be taking the risk to get the story, not standing over there comfortably. So I got a problem with that. Um, we got more police coming to stand behind the media right about there. Um, and, uh, and so then you see that there are protesters right here in front of the subway that's directly across the street from fire station number one. Um, Tiffin and South Florissant is that cross street and that is the Andy Worm uh, tire and wheel and there's the subway. You see that there are people sitting on the sidewalk in lawn chairs. Um, there are stand signs over there. There are bottled waters and protesters on the sidewalk. You see that the clergy is effectively waving traffic through. Um, they're they're guiding tra uh, traffic so that, yes, it might be slightly slowed down, even though this is not a busy street at all, but people are still being allowed to pass through. Um, What's up, James? Uh, right now, I just need eyes. I need y'all to repost this and get people to watch this. So if we get fucked up, y'all see what happens. That's Sean. He came to ride with the bikers. I hear somebody text me, but uh, what I'm not going to be able to do is stop filming and check that. You know what? No, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. What I'm about to do is shut down and come back up so I can save this. Uh, I'll be right back. It's 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. 